Good afternoon. We are so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. I just filmed this whole intro without actually recording. Um, we just got something in the mail that I'm really excited about, and Peter's officially done with work, so we are in weekend mode. Oh my gosh. I knew this was coming. It's from our dear friend, Sydney and her family. And um, I didn't expect it to get here so soon. It's our swing, but also our little bouncer. Like it's a two in one deal for our simplest lifestyle. Um, I'm gonna open it up. Kind of made a mess. Let's do this thing, <laughs> according to Linguini. Look at Eve's disdain for this. We're watching Ratatouille, and now I, I suppose we have to put it together. Hello everybody, my name is Peter and I'm here for the day. I'm ready for the weekend, because it is the weekend for me already. Mm -hmm. I'm off tomorrow, we stopped working early today. Um, I'm gonna put together this cool swing, and I'm gonna chop up some vegetables for Sarah because I'm helping her prep dinner. And then it's going to be awesome express weekend paints. Yes. We're making like Thai curry coconut veggies and pearl couscous. And Eva's exhausted. She just yawned so big. <laughs> We're getting started with onions and potatoes, garlic, salt, pepper. I just added in about a cup of coconut milk to start the veggies getting nice and tender. I'm going to throw in full green pepper and a full zucchini. But before that, I'm gonna add in this. I I put in probably a quarter cup of ketchup with probably around a tablespoon of curry powder and a tablespoon of chili powder to make kind of a makeshift, um, I don't know, a little curry paste. So I'm gonna add that in. I already added some ginger and then just season it as I go. So my goal for this meal is to not be super spicy, um, just really flavorful. We've been eating a lot of spicy food lately. Um, so we're just gonna tone it down for a night. Um, but I added in some garlic powder, a little bit of ground cinnamon, a little bit more ginger, a little bit more chili powder, added some soy sauce. Um, and so I'm just gonna let it cook for a little bit before I add on the last two bits. Uh, um, ingredients. Just turned it to low heat after adding in like a sprinkle of brown sugar, half a lime's worth of juice, and a little bit more pepper because now I just want it to bubble and get the veggies nice and tender. So I tried the dinner. It's a little sweet for my liking so I added a, a bit more garlic in and some nutritional yeast. Now I'm just gonna let it cook. All the starches are getting nice. Um, and creamy and distributed um, but the potato I tried was almost done so we should be eating soon and Peter said he's almost done I think I think we have to move rooms why because we got, we got lots of stuff for our well I feel like this will stay out here Eve is going in this tonight I don't know about that I do think we should move rooms but I'm just surprised I was surprised to hear <laughs> You say that right now. Oh, things are looking got real, real quick this week. <laughs> it's it. Tell you that much. Thank you wow. so much, Sydney and family. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this one, this sound is like a heartbeat, so that it sounds like me. And then that comes off. That's why it's got those legs, because it can just be a little se seated bouncer, and it, we have to get batteries for the soothing vibration, but it actually plugs in for the tower aspect, but it's got little noises. Here's our little curry dinner. I made a tiny tomato salad with salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, and then olive oil and lime juice for the dressing. Look at these two jelly beans. Oh gosh, she woke up. Well, Sarah and I actually took a little nap. So I did not. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> Me and Eve took a little nap together. I literally was like, I, I laid on the couch while Sarah like had to get some last minute files out. I was like, I just wish Eve, like, she's gotten so good at snuggling, I wish she would, like, want to actively snuggle with us on the couch. And, like, two minutes later, what does she do? She doesn't, like, snuggle me, but she, like, jumps on the couch and, like, lays next to my leg on her back. And then me and Eve both, Eve fell asleep, right? Yeah, I found you guys. So we took a little nap. So now we're going to go to 
Um, I think we have a package in our apartment mailbox, and then we're going to go to Disney Springs, did we say? Yes! Disney Springs, it's the weekend. Alrighty! We're back at Disney Springs! It's the weekend and we're back at Springs. Yes. So you know what we must do first? What? Sugar boo! Woohoo! Also, I have a preposition that I haven't said out loud. We check and see if those Chicago chip, loaded chip food truck is open. I am not hungry because I fell asleep after we ate, but yes, <laughs> we should. Okay. Oh no! no! They closed at six! When I was done working at three, we could have made it. Rest. Should we come back later this weekend then? Maybe. Oh man. Oh, man. I it's, already, it's this sunny out, it's already 8 o'clock. I know. It is summertime. Also, before. we're trying to get in the habit of wearing the bag like we talked about, but we are out of the habit of wearing our magic band. The thing is, is like we have the magic band in the car, but we didn't realize until, ooh, what? Lucky Brand's got some fresh cargo chips. Ooh. <laughs> Chelsea, I'm still going to wear cargo shorts for the rest of my day. All right, Sarah's gonna go order. It's funny, you have to order at the podium for all of the food trucks. Mac and cheese, but this is the one we're here. Hot diggity dogs. We're gonna get the loaded house made chips, Chicago style. We just ordered seven bucks and 50 cents for the Chicago toppings on the house made chips. So it's vegan like that. They do have a vegan um, cookie or cookie dough chocolate ice cream offering a cookie dough and everything sweet. Are you so excited? Yeah. No ketchup. No ketchup? Oh no. Chicago style. I like ketchup. I know, that's why I was surprised. Be, I asked her if we should just book a Polynesian night tomorrow night. Considering we're going over the Polynesian tomorrow. Yes, we have lunch reservations there. Here's the Chicago loaded house-made chips. But I'm adding the relish because they didn't include it. So we got mustard, tomato, sport. Pickle. They're supposed to be celery salt, but they didn't put that on there. But I have Sarah's some at got, home. Yeah, you should have brought it. I think you gotta open that up more because it's chunky. <laughs> chunky. To me, oh my gosh. the most important pieces of a Chicago dog are the celery salt, pickle, mustard, and sport pepper. I have almost all of that here in this single bite. Good. My, like, like the side of my mouth is tingling. Let's dive in. So this new big house is coming to this corner right by Paradiso 37. This year, fancy. This is a prime spot. We decided to take a little rest next to Goofy's. Look at this sunset. I wanna to go to Paddlefish. They just don't make it like this anywhere else. I wanna to go to Paddlefish too because we've never been there plant-based. You know what? I want to go to Corner Cafe. Oh, guess what? Your wish is granted! How about in 15 hours? Woo! Oh! Can you tell we've been, we've been hanging out here just relaxing? Basking in the magic and the glory? Do we know what this is called? Is this, this has to have a name. You know what? I recently looked it up when I was trying to figure out the boat. And it's not on any map. And I can't find it on Google. But it's like the Sasagula River. But I don't know if this is like still the river. Oh Christmas door, oh Christmas door. These are sweet ornaments we've never seen before. It's like different characters popping out. This one's Owl and Pooh. Cute. And Chippendale. Look at these four parks. The Castle Tree of Life. They even have a little bit of World Showcase. A little bit of... Figment. Star Wars, Peter Pan. Oh, a safari. They're playing Weezer in Art of Disney. We just found a really cool thing here that I've never seen anything like it. Who wants to buy this Haunted Mansion guitar? What's cool is like there's intricate custom, so you can tell like the whole thing is custom. Yeah. It's not just, oh, this is a Gibson painted like Haunted right. Mansion. It's $13,000. Yeah, yeah. You can get that or a DVD. Alrighty, we're gonna head on home now. We gotta call it kind of early night because Sarah's gotta get up early to edit. And I have to get up to do work things. Because we have an early day tomorrow. But I have to go and run when I get home. Yeah. You're gonna run and
and I'm going to look into my vote writer's information because I signed up to do text banking. Did she skip the training? I didn't? Okay. I did skip it, but I have all the tools I need. You do, in fact, have the right to be an to attorney. To be an attorney. Yeah, you, oh, right. You have the right to remain an attorney. Did you say that you have the right to be an attorney? You do have the right to be an attorney if you want to. Check it out. Check it out. Back towards my north downtown loop. Look at this hair. All right, so the barbershop I used to go to is closed until 6 for good measure. Debating if I'm gonna wait for them or if I'm gonna ask Sarah to cut my hair again, but this is what we're dealing with. I feel like I look like Blagojevich when I do my hair, which I'm not pumped about. Um, who is? I know I say it every time I run, but I'm still like getting back into the swing of Florida summer runs where no matter what, even if it's 11 o'clock at night, you are rocking 95 plus, 85 plus degrees with. 85% humidity, feels like 92. Your sweat can evaporate, so it just piles on you and makes you so warm. But I tell you, that's the conditioning. It's the South's altitude training. A lot of people say that high humidity with low elevation is like, if you want to call it like that, like a poor man's elevation training. So like if you don't live in Colorado or out west in your mountains where you train and it's thin air, Conditioning, well, high humidity where you can't even breathe or cool your body down or get your heart rate to slow down. It's the south, south altitude training right there. We are home. I don't know if Peter vlogged it all on his run, um, but he's already back from his run. I'm gonna do the daily message and hop into bed because it's getting late and I'm tired and Peter will be done soon, getting showered up and whatnot. You can see how tired I am, right? July 2nd. If you get the inside right, the outside will fall into place. Eckert Toll. I feel the same way, Eve. Come on, let's go to bed. She's a very tired pup. She likes sleeping under the table, but she hates getting out from the table. <laughs> um, I ran my four miles, felt good. It was really humid though. Um, we're going to bed earlier than you'd think on a Friday because we got to get up early because it's going to be a fun day. Oh, Thursday. Sorry, because I'm off tomorrow. I keep thinking today's Friday. Um, in just about three hours and ten minutes, Hamilton hits Disney+. Plus. We'll be watching it tomorrow, not tonight, because we're going to bed. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.